Okay, now that we have upgraded the uh, opaque envelope in the zone settings, we also want to um, switch out the glazing system and um, choose, let's say, a double pane glass. Um, for cost reasons, we maybe skip over the triple pane glazing options. And since we are in the Boston climate um, and a heating dominated climate, we are interested in finding a glass with a low U value and a high solar heat gain coefficient. Um, so what we can do is we can sort the glazing systems by U value and then uh, skim through them and find one that has a um, higher solar heat gain coefficient. So the highest one that I'm seeing at the moment is 0 0.3. Uh, we can scroll down a bit more and see if there's uh, one with an even higher solar heat gain coefficient. Uh, so for example, this one um, is close to 1.2 and has a uh, solar heat gain coefficient close to 50. So let's um, go ahead and choose this glazing system. Um, and commit with OK and then run the analysis. So as a general um, advice, um, it's always good to only do one modification at, the, at a time to really understand the impact of the changes that are being made uh, for, this length, for the sake of this tutorial to keep the length uh, of it um, uh, short, I'm lumping in a couple of these changes. So with these envelope upgrades, we um, significantly lowered the EUI um, and got it close to the baseline, um, but still we, uh, we have a couple of things to deal with. Now, uh, if looking at this, um, we see that uh, still our mechanical ventilation is the biggest uh, ticket item in this uh, energy balance and if I switch back to the EUI itself um, we see that uh, a significant um, amount of this uh, is actually a heating load so now it's maybe a good time to think of improved systems so what we want to do is we want to go into these zone settings again and then focus on the HVAC section here so we've seen that um, the mechanical ventilation is causing a lot of heat loss and this is because there's fairly high fresh air rates here and we are losing a lot of uh, energy through that. So a good choice here would be to maybe implement a heat recovery system to recoup some of that energy that's being lost in the fr uh, through kind of this ventilation rate. And then further we want to use um, something like a heat pump uh, system that um, has a much higher COP. So we probably have something close to three and the same is going to be for the cooling system. So let's assume, let's assume those uh, modifications here uh, and then commit with OK and run the analysis again. Um, in this case, since we really just modified the COPs, you saw a slight update, um, but we did not really simulate the, um, the heat recovery system. So uh, even though we, we already kind of saw a change here, we should run the simulation again to make sure that all of the settings are actually a part of this. And now we have significantly lowered the, the EUI, kind of including some of these uh, system performance uh, indicators, such as the COP, as well as the um, heat recovery system. And now switching back to this energy balance, we can see that we did shrink this mechanical ventilation portion uh, quite a bit. Now, another area of improvement, if we look at the EOI again, is kind of now um, this yellow uh, um, a lighting load that we're seeing here. So if we go back into our zone um, settings, we can modify some of the um, assumptions here on the, for the lighting. So first of all, we want to make use of daylight and we, have, we can implement a dimming system that automatically dims down the electric lighting uh, when there's enough daylight. Further, we can reduce this to um, something close to four maybe or, or six uh, if we can assume that this is now switching from an incandescent system to a solid state LED lighting system. So let's commit this with OK and then run the analysis again and see where we are at um, with this. 
So now you see how this significantly reduced the um, the lighting energy load that is, uh, that is given here and you can also see that there is a bit of a shaping going on where in the winter time the loads are a little bit higher in the summer time the loads get significantly reduced and this uh, is due to our dimming system that we implemented and uh, looking at this now um, we have significantly uh, reduced the EUI um, and it's, it's significantly lower than um, the baseline EUI and this is something that one could um, doc document step by step and show how kind of each of these implementations uh, or each, each of these measures have um, reduced the um, cost for operational energy, the carbon emissions as well as the energy demand um, in the zone. Now if this is uh, a setting that I uh, want to keep and want to save, so let's say this is I'm happy with this then I can go back to my settings tab and I can actually save all of these settings that are uh, within these tabs as a template and I can do this by clicking on this uh, little library icon here and I can call this office and now the U value is set to 0 0.2 and then um, maybe I, I talk a bit about the other things that I set uh, so I have a good envelope, I have uh, better systems and dimming um, so I can just give it a very descriptive name here. We could also uh, rename some of these things um, and then leave some comments so we uh, know um, better what's what we kind of what the assumptions were in these in, the, in these uh, settings. I'll just commit it as such um, with OK, and then um, this now is saved in my library. And um, now if you're wondering how do we access this, you can always access templates through this apply uh, zone template menu here. If you click on this menu, we can uh, we find lots and lots of zone templates that are based off of um, different architectural standards. So this uh, top uh, part here is referring to the Swiss architectural norm. Down below we have DOE reference buildings uh, given here as templates. Um, that uh, for different uh, use cases and if we go all the way to the bottom we have our custom save template that I just uh, provided so if we were to kind of accidentally delete some of these settings or set them to a wrong value we can always go back to the template that we had just had saved by just selecting it through this menu and then we should be uh, back to where we left things off and these um, templates are again uh, very useful if you want to um, do these kind of shoebox optimizations um, bring down the UI and then you can save those, uh, um, those settings as a template and then apply those later on in a more complex multi-zone energy model